together growing in faith, changing communities. The first reading from the Pentecost today gives us a clear view of what it meant to be a leper at the time. A person who was suspected of leprosy or shown any symptoms of leprosy was then taken to a prison and a priest had to declare him unclean. We are told that the person had to wear torn clothes and he had to let the hair loose and he had to constantly cry unclean, unclean when people approached him or when he was about to approach people. And from the first reading, we understand that the pain that the leper that Jesus healed in the gospel had to go through. The pain and the rejection that he had to go through. So in the gospel, we encounter a man who is alienated from the community. We encounter a man who is good for nothing. We encounter a man whose life had no meaning. We encounter a man whose life had no value. A man who is worthless. A man who has nobody wanting to come close to him because they might be contaminated. We find a man who is a loner. A man who is rejected. This man is not even called by name, but he is called by his situation. He is called a leper. Which means that his situation defined him. His situation gave him identity. He became what he was suffering from. And I'm sure many of us can identify with this level. Many of us live in rejection. Many of us are suffering from being rejected. I want to talk about rejection today. I want to talk about rejection. That in a rejection, people may run away from you. People may seem to be distant from you because you suffer from certain things. Because you do not match their level. Because you do not fall to their category of standard of living. But what I like about the gospel today is that this leper met Jesus. This leper had to, had to live in a constant reminder of how unworthy he was. Every time he had to meet someone, he had to shout, I'm clean, I'm clean. He had to live in a constant reminder that he was worth nothing. Maybe some of us feel like that today. They feel like they are worth nothing. They live in the constant reminder of their past. They live in a constant reminder that they are not worth nothing. Maybe we have been rejected by our loved ones. Maybe we have been rejected by our own communities. Maybe we have been rejected by our own families. Maybe the COVID-19 has affected us so much that we are even stigmatized. We don't feel comfortable with ourselves anymore. Maybe some of us identify with this level. But it's time to let those go and let Jesus in. We may see no value in ourselves. We may be seeing our lives worthless. We may see that no one understands us. No one understands what we are going through. Yes, we smile in front of people, but our hearts are in shreds. Our hearts are in pain. Our hearts are in pieces. Even when we are around people, we still feel alone. We still feel rejected. We still feel neglected. But I have good news today. There is Jesus. There is Jesus who is willing. There is Jesus who is willing to stretch his hand and pick us up and restore our life. The psalmist says today, he is a hiding place for us. 
He surrounds us with cries of deliverance. So it doesn't matter how people look at us. It doesn't matter what people say behind our backs. There is Jesus who is a hiding place for us. Let us not lose heart. Let us not lose hope. In whatever situations we find ourselves in, let us remember there is Jesus who is willing. There is Jesus who is willing to embrace us even when people don't want to come closer to us. Just like this leper, who was a good for nothing. But when he met Jesus, he attained his life. He attained his dignity. He restored his life. He became somebody that we hear about in the gospel today. Let us have the courage, that courage that the leper had, to come to Jesus, regardless of how many people have judged us. Regardless of what people have said about us, but let us come to Jesus unworthy as we are. Let us come to Jesus sinful as we are. Let us come to Jesus though we are suffering. Let us come to Jesus. The only words to get people's attention that the leper had to say was to say unclean. But when he met Jesus, his language changed. His language changed. He said, if you will, make me clean. We can also change what we say about ourselves. I will look at ourselves. We can come to Jesus and say, yes, they have said many things, but I come to you in need for your help, in need for your help. Let us come to Jesus and say, though I am rejected, though I feel helpless, Though I feel as if I am not worth nothing and I have nothing to offer, but I come to you. If you will, help me become a better person. Though I am sinful, if you will, make me clean. As I look back to Jesus, let us also come to him and pour out our hearts to him and invite him to touch us so that he can make, he can make us well. And let, let us remember, in whatever we do, in whatever challenges that we encounter, there is Jesus. He is our helper, He is our hope, and He is a hiding place for us. <laughs>